Hi guys, welcome to part 4 of how to make a monofin of where I'm actually showing you how to do it. So, so far, this is what I have put together. It is three folders glued, hot glued together like I showed you in part 2. Um, and then, I'm going to show you how I cut out this little shape right here and the edge off right here. Um, in part 5 I'll show you how to glue them together and this was also the pocket part like this that I glued three of them together and made that the foot part and then just cut it to a more fine shape that it would fit in with it and then used a part that I cut out to make it match um, into this part that I glued on. So it's all glued together. It's one sturdy piece. It's going to work very well in the water. So this is my cardboard pattern that I showed you guys in the first video. And this is the fluke that I have cut out and this is an add-on that goes with the fluke so that when I match it up with this it makes the design that I want. So. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, trace out the pattern that you want. So, I will set these aside because we're not dealing with that right now. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your monofin that you have already started and is one solid piece at any point that you are at. And you're going to flip it on the back side because you want to make sure that it's the same way all the way around and you take your pattern and you flip that upside down too and match it up the best that you can then what I'm going to do is lift up my pattern and decide where I want this to go So I want it to go right there. So what I'm going to do is take my marker and trace around it. And then after you're done with that, take scissors and cut out your pattern that you have just drawn. Um, cut out on the outside of the line. That way, if you need to trim it, you have room to trim. And that way you don't make very big mistakes. If you realize that your pattern is not the same on both sides, um, just take the side that you like the most which in my case was the first side that I cut out. You can see here that I have two lines. This one is from the actual pattern itself on the top. And then the one on the bottom is from the pattern on the other side. So I liked the curvature of this instead of just going straight up. So I just traced this um, along the same lines of what I had on the other one. Always, always, always keep your extra pieces because you really never know when you might mess up. Because I had to do 
this one twice. So you gotta be careful. After you're done cutting it out, do not tape the edges because you might have to trace it again. So, we'll just make sure that this matches up to the edges well enough. Okay, so this edge comes out a little too far, so I'm just going to trim that down. Again. Okay, so it's still coming out a little too far. I'm just going to make a small trim right there, and it will show me where I need to cut it. Okay. So now I have exactly what I want. And pick tiny little scraps. I don't know if you can see that. Take those and throw it away. And when you're done with that part, you're going to put this on where you want it. Put the right side up. And match it up the best that you can. It's a little bit tricky just making sure that you have everything where you want it. It's gonna be a little bit helpful to put this in here too. Because that will help keep it all aligned. Okay, so now I'm going to take my marker. I'm going to push down the main part so that I have a nice solid line. And I'm going to trace around the main part to make my flukes. Now, if you realize there's a tiny bit of a problem after you've traced it, it's okay. Just go over it again. Okay, so now that I've got this piece all set up, 
I'm going to use this scrap right here. So what I'm going to do, flip this over, and I'm going to turn it around so it's easier for me. Match that up with that corner, that up with that. And then flip this and put it right there. Like I showed you for the other piece, you're going to do the exact same thing. Match it up. Get it. And press down. And trace. So I'm going to cut this out and I'll show you in part 5 how to glue it all together. Alright, thanks for watching and as always, please subscribe.